Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. To all of you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Please hit the bell, be a subscriber too. We got two videos coming out a week now, so lots of good narcissism related content. So let's answer a big question. I've gotten from a lot of you who are watching, I've gotten this from a lot of other people too. Why can't you call a narcissist out on their BS? Mm -hmm. You can't, that's the short answer. So why, why can't you call them out? I cannot tell you how many emails I get a day from people who say, will you please meet my husband, wife, brother, sister, mother, father, and tell them they're a narcissist? The answer to that, by the way, is no. Um, can I show them, Dr. Romney, can I show them all your videos? Won't they then get it? No. So no, you cannot call them out. Now you can, I'm not going to stop you. But let's talk about what happens if you do. Because my hope, my goal in having this YouTube channel, in creating content, in writing books, in working with clients, and speaking about this, I got one goal and one goal only. And that is to protect people from the narcissists in their lives. We aren't going to get rid of them. Okay, we are not going to get rid of them. It's like putting on bug spray. We are not going to get rid of mosquitoes. I'm trying to figure out a way to keep them from biting you. Okay, so this and, and this is an equivalent of, mis of bug repellent. Why I don't want you to call them out. Again, you're welcome to. And some people say, Doc, I got to call them out once. I don't care what happens. I am just going to look at them and say, you son of a bitch. You are a narcissist. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to look at you. They're going to turn it around. They're going to say, really? Really? Because I, I would actually say you're the narcissist. And then they'll go on a 20 minute tirade about how you're the narcissist and they'll gaslight you and they'll manipulate you and they'll throw in some insults. And by the time they're done with you and do that number on you, you are going to think you're the narcissist. Is that really worth it? You can't call them out because newsflash, they're not listening to you. They never have listened to you. So why all of a sudden when you want to share the big reveal that, hey, 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 you're a narcissist. Why do you think that on that day they're going to say, ah, now I take you seriously, so I'm going to listen. They're not going to. Least of all, least of all, when you're giving them really uncomfortable feedback about themselves. For many people, and I'm grateful for this, for many people, they're happy. They're really happy when they finally get the framework. They're like, it all makes sense now. The lack of empathy, the entitlement, the mind games, the confusion, the doubting my reality. Thank you for giving me one word. And they watch the videos and it all makes sense. But just like anything, when you make a big new discovery, like you find a great pizza place, you want to tell everyone about it. This is not one of those discoveries you want to share with that person because they ain't having it. So I will tell you this now as a therapist, a question that comes up is, have you ever told a client that they're narcissistic? narcissistic? Heck yeah. I, but that is after weeks, if not months of us developing a relationship. And it's not like I shoulder up in therapy and say, hey, bitch, you're a narcissist. That's not what's happening. It's saying, I'm seeing some patterns here that concern me a bit. La 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 la. And I use a lot of therapist talk and there's a lack of empathy here. And that's concerning me. How do you think other people feel? And this is consistent with narcissism. I'm certainly not squaring up and calling them a narcissist to their face. If I can't do that with the big guns I've got in my office, I don't advise you do. Because if they start really um, going off on me, I've got the luxury of saying, and it was nice working with you. And here's a list of referrals. Bye. You know, I, that, I can, you can't do that so easily. So when you call a person out on being a narcissist, number one, you're putting yourself in harm's way. And by harm's way, I don't mean they're going to beat you up. Maybe they are. But I mean more that they are going to, they're going to empty both barrels into you. They are going to go completely off on you. And it's going to be hurtful and uncomfortable. That's number one. Number two, they're not going to hear you. So your long explanation and handing them books and showing them videos and saying, now I get it. Do you want to get it too? Not only is it not going to change anything, it's probably going to make things worse. I get it. You figured something out. You want to show them. And some people say, you know what? I want them to know I've got your number. Come on, you guys. I know some of you are thinking, 
I want them to know I get them. I see it. I'm going to call them out on it. And I get it. It keeps you up all night, right? Like, I finally get it. I'm so, I so have their number. I'm so going to let them know I have their number. And it feels like this moment of revelation. It feels like the moment you're going to get the one thing nobody ever gets in a relationship with a narcissist. And that's justice. Trust me, it ain't going to happen now. They are not going to hear this. They're not going to say, oh yeah, you figured it out. Yeah, I'm a narcissist. And now that you figured it out, I'm going to become nice. I was just waiting for you. I was just waiting for you to get the riddle. Not going to happen. And so what ends up happening is once you put the pieces together, the pattern becomes clear. You've read the books, you've watched the videos, perhaps you've talked about it in therapy. Save it for the places where you can learn the techniques so it doesn't bring you down anymore. Work on techniques around how you can protect yourself so you don't defend, you don't engage, you don't personalize. You maintain the realistic expectations. You even protect the other people in your purview. For example, children, other family members, or coworkers. Once you figure this out, it becomes a brilliant opportunity, not only to shield yourself, but other people in that, in that circumstance. And most importantly, the best way, the best way to school the narcissist, it's not to tell them they're a narcissist. The best way to do it is to slowly but surely start pulling back the narcissistic supply. It's a gradual distancing. You're no longer engaging. You're no longer a source of supply, nor are you a source of bait. Initially, that narcissist, you know what's going to happen. They're going to actually try to pull you back in. They're frustrated. You're no longer playing with them. You're no longer playing their ground game. That, that is how you show them that you got it. You don't have to tell them you got it. Your lack of engagement is all the lesson you need to show them. And when they go on their usual gaslighting rants or their invalidation or they're ignoring you, you can smile knowingly, turn to other sources of support in your world and know you figured this out and never again are you going to be their punching bag. Thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe. More content coming your way.